on TikTok. There's Bentley. So these pups are 10 weeks old now. And what we're doing is we have them on a 10 foot long leash. And that is not because they're 10 weeks old that we use a 10 foot long leash. It's because it's a nice size. So there's Sam and Bentley. Yes. And watch what happens. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore them. So he has this whole wide open world to explore. If Sam catches him near her, she's gonna click and reward. The behavior we like, we can click reward. We can also yes and reward, but sometimes the dogs respond better to the clicker and they haven't realized that yes means this similar. So one of the things that Sam likes to do is explore with the puppies and see what they can find and how much fun they can have together. So the walk isn't, I'm going to hold you back over here and you're going to go my way because gosh darn it, I'm a person with thumbs. If the leash gets tight, Sam stops. Leash gets loose, Sam's going to mark and reward. Ty, he's like, what the heck, guys? And it teaches him that the leash, that they only move forward, they only move forward if, uh, if the leash is loose. And he peed right before they came out of the fence yard. So our property, we've got over five acres here. We've got a six foot chain link fence that surrounds the whole property. You can see it right there, right behind Sam. But we have another fence around the dog yard. So that's where they come out. So they've played there before. They are on their flat collars. We do have martingales that would fit them. We do not have them on martingales because we still have a dozen puppies here, 13 when Tara brings her puppy over. And I don't think we have 13 different colors. So we have to know who's who. So they're on all their different ones. So like I said, we could change them up. We could just put a martingale on it for leash work. That's usually what we use, but this is a flat collar. So he's like, no, I hate the leash. I hate being tight on the leash. So how can he figure out how to move forward. He's like, no, fucking hell, I hate this. Yes. Leash is loose, Mark. And I'm gonna ignore him. So Sam's just being a tree. Notice how the leash, maybe you don't notice. Notice the leash on her wrist there. Notice how her wrist is positioned when her arm is positioned. Also, don't do that with big dogs. They'll break the freaking wrist. These are like 20 pound puppies, Sam. They're 20 pounds. Um, can you show me with that hand too, Sam, what usually happens whenever a dog, a bigger dog especially, will pull on a leash, what most people do and why, yeah. So you see why Sam makes sure that it's good is so you don't go from, uh, it's up against my body, to now you have two extra feet when you pull really bad. Right, right, Bentley? And I'm stuck with my arm in this outstretched position because I have to be a tree, right? I can't give him more. Can't make go-go gadget arm. Nobody ever gets Super that analogy good. anymore. Yay for go-go gadget. My brother used to call it Inspector Hoo Hoo. Because da na 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 Inspector do da da na 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 Inspector Hoo Hoo. You can tell that to Ray tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and he's over here. Just being a little turkey. Yeah, I'm ignoring him. I'm not petting him. I just move so he's not getting attention, affection, touching from me. I'll move again so he doesn't touch me. And I'm not just going to stand here and stare at him either because then we're at odds, right? Yes! So if you stare at him, then he's going to be like, well, you're coming my way because your hips, belly button, and your nose. No, what? Nose, belly button, toes. That's what it is, not hips. Well, I guess hips too. But nose, belly button, toes are going in my direction. So why should I come to you? So Sam's pointing nose, belly button, toes in the direction she wants to go. She can also be like, woohoo, look at this leaf on the ground. It's much more exciting. Good boy. So he did back up, but she a little more. Right? And then notice how she bends over, squatsy downsies. So how many people don't put their dogs on leash at all until it's needed and then their dog's a jerk on a leash? Who's the jerk? Which one at the end of the leash, right? 
You've got to prep the puppies. Oh, he just fell. His legs skidded out from underneath him. Now he's hanging out a little bit more. Notice that? Now he's getting underfoot a little bit. Is that okay? It is for right this second. So she wants him to come over and smell this. And she's like, look at that. And when he smells it, she clicked him and she rewards him. And he can smell it a little bit more. Or maybe they'll go and smell this other one. Oops. And he came right back that time. He didn't do the whole, no, I don't want to. He almost made Sam trip and fall. But that's okay. Boing! Faster. Faster, yeah, and I'll, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm full grown. This is as big as my strides are getting. Oh, bounce, 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 bounce. I am willing to let him lead the way sometimes, but he has to do it in a way that's fair to me. So I can click and then move towards him as long as he's on a slack leash. And I would offer him some food, but he ran off. So don't, not. you're not chasing him down to make sure that he gets food shoved in his face? Nope. Sure not. It's like I'm hot. It's hot out here. I don't blame him. It is hot. You want to try some Betty out? Bentley. Bentley. So I dropped the leash because he's under the truck and I wasn't about to pull it. Well, he's not anymore. He's over there. But he was, he went under the truck and I was Boom. not about to crawl under the truck. Um, I wasn't going to get him tangled up. I wasn't going to get him tangled up around the tire. This whole property is fenced in, but I dropped the leash before there was any tension on it. I don't want him to learn to pull to make me drop the leash, right? No tension. If I feel like letting the leash go, I can, as long as there's no tension. And look, and he, he came back. back. Hi. And we can pick the leash up again and get it out from underneath And tire. notice she's making sure it stays slack. Mm -hmm. He said he'll hide underneath me. There's shade yeah, under there. Yeah, there's shade under there. Bentley. I had to lift up my foot so it didn't get wrapped up. Yeah, it's already wrapped up on the chair leg. That's oh. another reason I dropped it. Come here. Come here, buddy. Good boy. There we go. So I can lure him to get him to untangle. Oh. He hit the end of the leash before I could get it where I wanted it in my hand. So now he went from 10 feet to 6 feet. But once he slacks, I'll give him the rest. Boom. Oh. And there's how Sam has her hands. This is, if you guys ever played freeze tag, this is like ultimate freeze tag. Yep, if I ever feel tension, I arrest motion. That means freeze. And as soon as he slacks, there we go, I can come towards him. Because we're trying to make it towards the house, which is the direction he's going anyway. So as long as the leash is loose, boom shakalaka. And then here's the building houses across the street. It used to just be hay, and then they ball up hay and wrap it up in bags, and it looked like a marshmallow farm. And here's, here's the house. Rich is over there with one of the pups. 